Good morning friends. This session is dedicated to class 12. See, the, um, yesterday the CBSC board has cancelled class 10 board exam. That has been a great setback to the children who have worked you know, the whole year. Whatever may be the result, the result will be on the basis of, you know, uh, the criteria and the um, parameters set by the CBSA board now that will come after a week that is that is not the problem the problem is that the decision that came yesterday <coughs> was a great setback to the academicians as well as the entire I mean group of students 18 lakhs of students who had to appear for CBC class 10 board exam forget about that that is the decision of the government at one hand the is not they are just you know busy in election on the other hand they have no prior preparations to conduct the exam now the future of the students in their hand if they neglect their studies simply by saying that we may be promoted promoted or getting passed is not the purpose of academics the um, purpose of the academics is to enhance the ability and make the students capable of uh, choosing their career later on because 10 and 12 really build up their foundation to enter into a suitable career they are <coughs> going for but the way I mean these COVID-19 and the other situations you may call the entire I mean year has gone almost wasted so now keeping in view that the class 12 exam has been postponed fortunately because uh, maybe that on 1st June what decision they will take but 12th has no option exam will be there under some guidelines and others so let us discuss the second lesson of the core English code lost spring stories from stolen childhood first of all let me talk about the two characters Sahib he is a rag picker he lives in Simapuri at the periphery of Delhi, yet metaphorically miles away from Delhi. They, that is a big slum uh, consisting of thousand, I mean, rag pickers over there. Then the second character is Mukesh, that is, uh, he is, you know, the, he belongs to a family of Bengal makers in Firozabad. Both the children have suffered poverty and you know the lineage of uh, uh, you know the capitalist and the politicians middlemen and all this is the actually these the family of sahab has come from bangladesh in 1971 since then for the last 30 years they have stayed in simapuri rag picking is just like gold because that is the only means of survival for thousand families over there children are born over there and they become the partners in the struggle for survival in Simapuri. The <clears throat> Sahib in the beginning is, you know, seen wandering, picking rags. One day the author, who is also a social worker, and is young, she asked Sahib, why doesn't he go to school? He, why he doesn't go to school? He replies that there is no school in the periphery of his place where he lives on that jokingly she says that if she opens his school he says well I will go to school then after a week he meets the uh, author again and then he asked very seriously whether she has opened a school for him but then she realizes the, the author realizes that such promises are made to these children every day meant not to be fulfilled and this is the you know plight of the poor children poverty and starvation poverty and sufferings are part and parcel of such children and the people like you know the bureaucrats the politicians and all those who believe that they they just give the lectures that such a children should be brought to the streamline and should be provided but nothing has been done so i have then, you know, is uh, seen without uh, slipper and shoes. When she asked about that, uh, why is uh, they, the children, the rag pickers, wandered without shoes? 
they, they, they made an excuse say that there is no tradition in, in their families to wear suit but that was a poor excuse that was understood by the author then sahab after some time is seen working at a tea stall carrying a canister he was not looking very happy the author wanted to know is he really happy the, the, the way he explains that now he is completely tied up in a routine he has lost his freedom so as a rag picker he used to get something that that could fetch him the two meals a day and he was free to wander everywhere so there was a freedom but later on when he joined the tea stall he was given a fixed amount of money per month but he lost the freedom because since morning till evening he has to be at the tea stall so coming to the conclusion we can say that sahab's condition is uh, a mix of that that at a uh, rag picker he enjoys his freedom and he is happy and his the people over there has been living in poverty and they are managing to get to mill and uh, at the end of the day they do not sleep without um, food this they get food and but when he joins the tea stall though he is getting some amount fixed amount and that can manage his but he has lost his freedom so here the narrator wants to just make a comparison that for a child who has really lost his beautiful childhood that child would have been in his school that child should have been enjoying games and sports like other children that child would have been loved by his parent and being given all the necessary facilities but the thing is that the narrator empathizes with such people that because she is a social worker she thinks that the condition of the slum dwellers in simapuri and other slums should be improved since 1971 they have been struggling for the last 30 years they have lived in this i mean dirty um, surroundings but the fact is that poverty and survival both go hand in hand at one hand these people have been struggling against poverty but they are trying to survive at all cost and that is what is important for these children but they have lost their beautiful childhood the blooming birds have really lost their childhood we really feel that such children should be brought under the light of the knowledge and schooling by all the authorities thank you have a nice day i'm sure my elaboration would promote your thinking to read the text thank you